So we're gonna go out, we're gonna get a new man, someone that's hot, tall, treats me like a queen, actually makes plans with me, and brings me flowers. So I'm very excited to see what the future holds. Welcome to Management Highlights Daily. Today we're diving into an interesting case study from Netflix's Jewish Matchmaking. My name is Aliza Ben Shalom and I am a matchmaker and dating coach. I am on this matchmaking mission. The matchmaking I strictly do with the Jewish community where I have helped over 200 couples to get to the chuppah. Specifically, we're talking about Danny, a woman who's become a prime example of modern dating entitlement. You see, in today's world, with social media fueling self-worship, women like Danny seem to think they deserve to be put on a pedestal. So much so, they expect a man to worship them more than his own religion. This is huge in today's dating scene and explains why we have so many, 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 many leftover women. What was once the foundation of a relationship, commitment, values, and faith has been pushed aside for self-worship. Let's talk about it. Disclaimer, this video contains copyrighted footage, so we will be freezing it frequently to prevent copyright infringement. A special salute to our Patreon supporters. The original video will be available on Patreon. If you enjoy our content and want the full experience, consider supporting us on Patreon. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do, because we many, we we men and we All my friends are all in very serious relationships, so I need to catch up. I would like to be married by 30, max. Okay. I'm great. Honestly, I don't know why I don't have men lined up waiting to marry me. <laughs> then when I was like 10 or 11, my dad decided he wanted to move us out to like the farm country of California. And it was city girl in a farm in a farm world. I have not had luck with dating. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I'm 100% myself. And you know, what you see is what you get. The guys, they either love it or they hate it. And even if they love it, they don't love it enough. The next thing I'd love to know about is uh, what you really value in a partner. Family's huge to me. I'm super close with my entire family. I think that's really important. And I want them to be obsessed with me. <laughs> okay. I want them to treat me like the queen that I am. Okay, okay. It's fascinating how women always end up turning on themselves. And that's because women act emotionally. This woman is clearly obsessed with herself. And that's why she wants a man to be obsessed with her. The word queen gets thrown around as an emotional ego booster. But let's be real, most of you aren't queens. Now when women call themselves queens, it's just about feeling good. It's subjective. This is keeping many, 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 many of them single because to be truly seen as a queen, they need to be connected with a high status man. And guess what? Those high status men who they want to put them on a pedestal aren't interested. Here's why. My family, whole okay. family is from South Africa. We're South African Jews. Okay. You know, we do all the holidays, all the big holidays. We went to temple for the high holidays. We do Shabbat, you know, when we're home together. My family does keep kosher in the house. We don't mix milk, milk and meat. We don't have shrimp or pork. But my first cheeseburger I ever tried was with my Israeli friend. And she was like, you have to try this cheeseburger. It's going to change your life. And I tried an In-N-Out cheeseburger, and it did. It changed my life. I was like, why would I ever eat a burger without cheese again? So like, I would say I'm less Jewish in a way than my family is, just because, Less you know, observant. Less observant. I mean, if you're Jewish, you're Jewish. But in terms of what you observe or how you observe, yeah. you observe differently than your family. Yeah. Translation, I wanna do whatever fits my agenda or makes me feel good. This is the free-spirited woman. Someone who's all about herself and her experiences. Um, that really like touches my heart all over again because like you can't judge me for- right being in that circumstance because we all have soul contracts. If you remember our Tamron Hall breakdown, 
you'll know why you need to run from these types. Let's show you why. So how do you feel about being a girl who's not as religious as you? It's definitely a difference for me. Um, you know, over here in Miami, I tend to date girls who are a little bit more traditional, mm -hmm. um, you know, even like more religious than myself, typically. Okay. Um, but, I, you know, I think there's a lot of positives about you that, you know, yeah. would keep me drawn in. Okay. Yeah. Good. I mean, I feel like I like, I go in waves with my religion. Yeah. My whole thing is that I don't want my religion to stop me from experiences. No, that makes sense. Big red flag. This woman is an agent of chaos. When she says she doesn't want religion to stop her from experiencing things, understand that religion exists precisely to prevent certain destructive experiences. You're not supposed to do whatever you want because rules keep things in order. Women like Danny, who go with the flow, are a perfect example of how the women's liberation and feminist movements are pushing for selective equality, she quality. They want all the perks of tradition without the responsibilities. Enjoy bon appetit. Thank you. This looks really good. I know, right? Let's let's dig in. All right. He doesn't pour water or wine in my glass when he pours it in his, which. It doesn't bother me. It's just something that I noticed. When I was growing up, table manners were a huge thing. Always pour people or offer people water or wine when you're doing it for yourself. So it's just something that I notice. Um, I think that I could like teach him. This exposes her value system. She expects men to keep traditional roles alive for her benefit, like pouring her wine or paying for dates. And women like her see these gestures as investments in them. It's about her being on that pedestal. No wonder these modern relationships fail. So you stay in Hollandale for the most part? No, no, no. My synagogue is actually like a little further down the road from here, so. Do you go to synagogue a lot? I go almost every morning. It really like balances me out. It's kind of like meditation a little bit. Yeah. Like you should really try it. Mm. If men were in the synagogue every morning to worship her, she'd be that first thing. But she already got that on social media with black belts and simp jutsu inflating her ego. This is why she acts the way she does. But yeah, how about you? Like, what's your um, what's your my religious level? Yeah, I have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not super religious. I grew up relatively conservative. Uh -huh. Like my, we all do Shabbat. We That's do good. Passover, Rosh Hashanah. We do all the holidays. All the yeah, holidays. Yeah. Basically, she's in it for the fun stuff. It's like someone who wants to eat the cake but isn't willing to do the work of baking it. Danny only wants the parts of religion that don't inconvenience her. And this is what's rampant in modern dating. People taking the easy route, enjoying the perks, but never committing to the responsibilities. Let's take it a step further. Danny's dated a lot of characters. She always picks the bad boys or the boys that are just not willing to commit, and it hasn't worked out. A lot of the time, I go for the bad boys. Just point blank, I go for the bad boys. Those red flags that people always talk about, I ignore because the bad boys are hot, but there could be nice guys that are hot. No? This is pure gold. She admits to ignoring red flags for the thrill of the experience. These bad boys give her that high status feeling because in her mind, it elevates her status. It's all about her, self-centered all day. Religion, meanwhile, tries to prevent exactly this kind of self-destructive behavior. Women getting pumped and dumped by Chad and Tyrone is what society used to guard against. But in today's world, birth control, plan B, and daddy government support make it easier for women to escape the consequences of their reckless behavior. Daddy government is ready to bail them out, which is why modern laws tend to favor women at the expense of men. Men need to understand this and protect themselves because women like Danny are never going to be wife material. 
I just think for future, when you're dating other girls, you know, it's good to know. I'm really not like that with other girls, though. That's the funny thing. That's a really bad thing to say. <laughs> what makes me different? What makes you different? Um, Ooh, hectic. I don't know. That is hectic. Hectic question right there. <laughs> Look, I think, you know, one big difference between us is like the religious yeah. level. I think, yeah. we, you know, whoever I want to end up with, I do want to like, you know, observe a little bit more. Yeah. I don't want to like drag you through like life that you don't want to live. I just felt like we just didn't want the same things, yeah. you know? And, you know, in terms of like going out, I like, I'm not really like about the nightlife like you. Like, there's no problem with that. Mm -hmm. I'm probably like too boring for you. Guys, recognize the red flags early and run. Free-spirited party girls like Danny will never be loyal. If a woman is aware of the red flags in men and chooses to ignore them because the guy is hot, then she's a walking red flag herself, like a Chinese parade. Women like this will always put themselves first. You'll be left in the dust. So I'm very happy with how things have ended with David because he sucks. And from what he even said himself, he's boring as hell. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna get a new man, someone that's hot, tall, treats me like a queen, actually makes plans with me, and brings me flowers. So I'm very excited to see what the future holds. Manifest, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.